Hey guys, we are back, and I swaffles, and we're playing Unturned. Now, before you say anything, before you say anything at all, um, we are still doing the mission that I wanted to do. But first, we're just uh, going over a few little things that I need to cover with you guys. Um, a, that is, I have slept since the last episode, and what I mean by that is I have done a few things with Riley, and um, one of those things is I made a very good working farm. Now, um, I'm not going to get into the farm thing just yet, because... Um, I'm going to make an episode where I kind of go over the basic survival guide, I guess you could say, of this game. So, um, that's not this episode, but we'll get to that. Uh, what else have I gotten? I have gotten a silencer on my, uh, rifle here. I got a tactical light, which I can turn off and on using F. I can toggle it. Um, also I got a 12 zoom. And to be honest, I think I started collecting military bullets, which you can, um, use to make stuff and... We'll get into a lot of um, these basic, kind of, not really basic, but more crafting type of deals in later episode. Hey, one cartridge. You know what? That's good. I just need one cartridge. Okay. I'm actually kind of hot. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head over to um, Barry Wood up there by the military base. Because if you remember last episode, I said we would do that. And we're still going to do that. Come on. Um... And, yeah, I will, I don't, I'll probably see you there, so, BRB. Okay, guys, we're back, and, um, I just figured something out, but, okay, we'll get to that later. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, let's go ahead and, give me two seconds. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to start recording, and I realized that there's a way where you can change, um, your change your seating, and I now figured out how to do that, and it's complicated, you can use F1, if you look in the van, um, it says F1 and then dash 6, I don't know what that means, but now I get it, it's F1, but in all the way through F6, it changes your seating, and I did F4, and it put me to where F4 is in the van, so it kind of freaked me out, but it's cool. Um, and if you guys don't get what I mean, but like, right now I'm pressing F1, I'm gonna press F2. And then I'm going to F3, I'm going to skip F4, F5, I guess F5 doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. Let's just exit out. Hopefully I'm still recording, because, you know, the function keys do all sorts of madness to you. I want to correct the military bullets, because, like I said before, that's the, what goes in this gun, in the NATO gun. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, zero. <laughs> A splint. Do I have a splint? Yes, I do. Vitamins. Might as well waste them. Either way, though, um, this is a bridge. I don't know if I showed this to you last episode, but it is a pretty, pretty cool bridge. Let's get down on our ground. Sniper mission. Oh. In the face. Okay, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just wanted to show you the bridge and... Sometimes, actually, here is where you can actually find, um, really cool, I think you have a chance of finding, uh, vehicles, bombs, um, this, uh, armor, and other sorts of awesomeness. Now, there's really nothing over here that we need to look, that we need to, ne we need, actually. So, we're gonna head back to the car. But, um, there are certain locations, if you look on the wiki, and, um, I'll tell you, like, you know... If you're wanting military grade weapons, obviously go to a military base, like um, the uh, old uh, the old the ba old ma um, dang, I can't think of the name. It's right in front of me. Ever had that happen to you? Um, either way, the base we went to in the last episode, um, this one, the base there's actually the town we're going to has a base in it. I'm um, not really a base, but more of like a gate checkpoint. Um, so, either way, you can find military, uh, armor, bullets, guns, and vehicles there as well. But vehicles, there's a small chance for that, and I mean, it depends on what you want to ride. And, and then again, ve vehicles is a, uh, is a kind of later on in the game type of deal. Like I said, um, and, and I want to give you kind of a basis of what my next episode is going to be. It's going to be kind of like a, not necessarily a tutorial, but in a other way, it's not going to be exploring. It's going to be kind of like 
you know, hunting, farming, building, just a little bit of building, uh, but, like I said, it's just little tips that I can give you, um, once you get past the survival part, because, I mean, to be honest, once you get a weapon, it, this game is really easy, there's a tactic to not dying right away, um, which I'll show in the next episode, I'm gonna end up having to write this stuff down, because it's just, it's me, then I, I forget it, and then I'm like, oh, wait, yeah. Okay, let's get out. This is a little checkpoint I was talking about. Um, hey guys. And also, you know it's military when there's, you know, zombies all over the place. <laughs> Monkeys. Let's get up here and see what's happening. Two sandbags. Pretty nice. Okay. Let's see. Now, I believe this town actually does have a uh, gas station. Because um, if you remember last episode, I actually ran out of gas. Or I was about to. And I actually did. I ended up not making it to the town. Uh, I had to get Riley to come here to get some gas for me. Which he did, because he's very nice. <laughs> not funny. Does this have a gas station? Oh, gosh. Oh, it's not. It's my vehicle's gonna burn if it's not careful. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, there's also another thing I could uh, tell you guys about. Not necessarily teach you, but, uh, tell you. Ow. Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. The gun. Pull out the gun. Um, another thing I can teach you is vehicle responsibility and safety. Hey, idiots. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is not gonna end well for me. Actually, it will. Don't worry. He dropped the backpack. Guess we'll just take him on the beach line. Gosh. What's funny is, um, I actually died, and I actually got my experience back up. Um, but, that, that would have been a nice little horde for getting experience. And there is a moldy potato. I would not be surprised if it is moldy, because it's on the beach. Oh, I thought that was a, uh, first I thought that was a deer. I was like, why is it staying still? It's not a deer. And while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, fill up on my cantina. I don't know why I did quit that. Okay, that was weird. Okay, um, what else? There, I do know almost for positive sake there is a um, gas station. I just am in the wrong spot. You know, I was about to say, there was more. Okay. One thing, actually, let's tell you about this This uh, right now. If you do have a car later on in the game, one thing you're going to want to have with you on hand is a blowtorch. Because what it can do is it can actually, um, in a sense, heal your car. What it does is just like, you know, blows. It does what a blowtorch does. But basically, it heals your car um, so it won't be all smoky like this. Because... If you leave it smoky, it's going to end up blowing up and popping you out, and it end up it could end up crushing you. And here's another little tip. If you want your um, car to get health all the way, if you see where, like, the little trigger, uh, not really trigger, but the aim for the blowtorches, like how it's uh, four lines circling the dot, if you hold it down until that becomes, like, a normal thing, I think it should, um, that means it's done healing. So this might take a while. I don't, I've never tried this. Like, let me just... Deedle bop. Elevator music, you know. Deedle bop, deedle bop. I'll keep this video too long. So, either way, um, let's drive this baby around. Uh, actually, you know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and collect some stuff. One thing I am looking for is, um, a hammer. Because hammers are used to make things out of scrap metal over the fireplace. And, you know, we need stuff out of the fireplace and stuff, you know. Sorry, my words, I don't know why my words are kind of all... You know what I mean? Guess this is the thing. Okay. So, one thing I do like about those games is, you know, items aren't randomly, they don't randomly spawn, you know, they are kind of in conjunction with real life. Um, now, this is sick, that's nice. 
but like they are in conjunction with real life and what I mean by that is like oh, I don't know what it is but like, these guys always scare me um so real life I, I was saying that once tonight let me take a screenshot of you bro I could have swore this worked you know the whole screenshot thing I hope it does so real life what was I saying yeah it's like you know um a hammer would probably be in a construction zone or a mechanic's office and a car jack would be in a mechanic's office or place so that's what I like about it um, it's not gonna be all over the place randomly okay I really just kinda wanna screenshot or something like you know maybe a town like you know, right right there that's a good little screenshot Okay, apparently, uh, Steam isn't connecting with this whole screenshot thing, so. A generator. Wow. Those things are kind of rare, so probably take one, even though we don't really need it. Um, I guess I'll just be using the thumbnail from last episode and change the whole military base to, uh, town. Or, you know what I might do? I might end up, um, and I'll figure it out. You know, I usually do. You know, what might happen is, uh, yesterday, I actually had a Wi-Fi issue, um, and Steam, you know, if you've ever had a Wi-Fi issue and had Steam at the same time, uh, ooh, civilian shell, oh, no shells, okay. Um, you know, that is kind of, it works a little funny how, like, let me rephrase that, um, when you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you can still play on Steam games, but you're not gonna be playing on the online mode, and I don't know if me having to turn the online mode off made it kind of weird or something. But, you know. Let's see what this hat looks like. And I don't really like it that much. But I don't know if it me turning it off and then turning it back on kind of did something weird to, um... To the screenshot. But... I bet it did nothing. I'm just... Probably... I probably... I probably did do something... But, um, I bet the whole online, offline mode didn't have to do too much about it. But then again, you never know. Okay, what? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. I've already said okay, like, you know, um, one thing I always say, I still do say it is, um, and I mean, a lot of people do say when, um, they are talking, you know, giving a speech, but, I'm starting to say okay more. You know, it just, I guess it happens. Like, when you get older, I doubt it. I just, you know, oh, here's the gas station. But, not really when you get older. I'm going to say, like, when you can't really say anything. Because, um, speeches, you know, two things you want to avoid in speeches are, uh, words like, um... Okay, kind of, it depends on what your, your speech is, I should say that first of all. Like, if it's a really president speech, you don't use words like um and stuff like that. But uh, what I also do mean is, second word is don't use repetitive language. Like, don't repeat something. Uh, for example, the man he killed killed the other man who killed that other man. I don't see where that would come up in conversation, but I think you get the point. Don't, like, you know, use the same word over and over and over again. It's just not cool. But then again, if you're just making a speech, you know, to enlighten your buddies on World of Warcraft, which I have nothing uh, against, I mean, cool. You're a leader. Epic. But, you know, I don't think you really need to worry about, um, grammar. Oh. I was Skyped. Uh, what time is it? Oh, seven. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Let's kill this monkey. So let's go get the car right now because um I want to fill up on gas and then we're gonna we can head home because right now oops sorry about hitting that I don't think I'm gonna find any more hammers anywhere maybe by the gas station. Hey, a ganola bar. How nice. Okay. And one thing I do want to do before we end the episode off is... Actually, no, no, I don't have to do this, um... With the episode on. 
what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, go home. But then I realized, you know, I'm going to cut anyway, so what's the point of, uh, you know, even adding that into the episode of me? Oh, shoot! <laughs> I think I was going to bring this up before, but I was too busy dealing with the horde. Is that even though this game isn't new to me, it scares the living heck out of me sometimes. Yeah. <sighs> That was hard. Okay, I gotta heal up because they got me good. Okay. Stop saying okay. You know what I just realized? Okay, okay. Is uh, from Fault in Your Stars. Or it's not Fault in Your Stars, it's Fault in Our Stars. Me bade. Okay. Gosh. Stop saying okay, okay? Yeah, I, I turned it into something. So, either way, I think we've explored this town enough or to the point that I feel satisfied, and I think you guys feel satisfied too, you know? Um, I'm still a zombie alive, but who cares? And you know what I realized? We never even filled up on gas. And I mean, who needs gas, right? I definitely don't. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off uh, here. Next episode, we're probably going to be doing some survival things. Actually, you know what? We will be doing some survival things, um, and I'll be giving you some tips. Now, don't take it as a tutorial, so I don't want you guys to get upset when I don't show you all the ins and outs. But I do want to uh, give you a few little tips and then not necessarily explore or hunt. But um, not when I say hunt, I mean hunt for zombies. I mean more like uh, I just I'm not going to fight and explore. So, hope you've enjoyed, stay happy, and I will see you later. Bwah.